Hello, folks. This is Jamil Sofer for Gunstock Reviews. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona, our favorite indoor facility. And today we're going to talk about a new but not so new pistol from Springfield Armory. It came out of the beginning of 2024, but one thing led to another, and I forgot to do the review on it, is the garrison in the four and a quarter inch barrel configuration. Um, first, let's get the name nomenclature uh, straight. A lot of people say, oh, that's the commander version. It's like, well, commander, government, and officers are names from Colt. This is not a Colt. This is Springfield Armory. So we're going to call it, we're not going to call it something it is not. It is not a commander because that's a Colt nomenclature. Um, so it has a four and a quarter inch barrel, same as the original garrison that came out a couple of years ago, which is a plain, perfect gun, in my humble opinion. It has all the features I like. It has the um, low right, low mount of sight, dovetail front. It has white dots on the back as something that I will immediately sharpie black because I prefer the black rear sight, but that's me personally. It has uh, beaver tail grip safety. This model comes is in stainless steel, as you can see, but it comes in four different flavors, 245s and 29s in uh, stainless steel and blue. So this one happens to be 45 stainless steel. It has the thin grips. I personally would prefer the thicker grips, but that again, it's a 1911, something that I can easily change with just changing the bushings and changing the screws and changing uh, the grips. Not a big deal. Um, I know that I can get away with that changing the bushings uh, but i rather change the bushings too and get the thicker grips from, uh, there's a bunch of grip manufacturers like Miltac and Lock that we can get some really good G10 grips for it. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot it at 10 yards here and I'm shooting the uh, Cintec, Federal Cintec Action Pistol, which is specifically made and set up for USPSA competition. It says that it meets the power factor giving us a 220 grain bullet, and it says it's going about 775 feet per second that makes the power factor. But that is probably on a five inch gun, not on a four and a quarter inch gun. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna chrono it right now. I'm just gonna shoot a few rounds at this distance and see how it performs. So like always, eyes and ears, and we're gonna go for it. I'm shooting a little bit to the left, but that's always me, and I'm shooting really, really fast. I should slow down a little bit. That's much better. That's a much better group. Still a little bit to the left, but again, that's just me and I need to get used to it. This is the first time I ever shot this pistol. I've had it for a few weeks now, well, excuse me, a few months now. Never had a chance to shoot it. Um, this Federal ammo is really good. And I shot four rounds there. I should shoot a couple more just to make sure that I'm happy with it, but I am very happy with it. Um, cool thing, it uses standard eight round magazine. This one happens to be, uh, Seven, uh, seven rounds, that's what comes with it. So it's a standard seven round magazine. Even with my bad eyes, this is shooting really well. I'm gonna finish this box, I only have five rounds left. Um, yeah, this magazine, the, the follower is getting stuck on the mag body, um, and it's just probably this magazine is kind of wonky, uh, but yeah, it's shooting really well. It's shooting a really good group, so shoot another five rounds and see how it goes.
Yep, now that I got it, I'm, I'm used to it. It's all set up. It just made a big gigantic hold down range. I really like it. Um, four and a four and a quarter inch gun. This is a good self-defense pistol. Uh, the four and a quarter inch uh, 1911 has been a favorite of many defense guys out there. Um, so I would say that this garrison in four and a quarter inch is a winner. So guys, check it out. And please like this video, share this video and subscribe to the channel. And please remain healthy, stay safe and definitely have fun on the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.